Hey, for both of you guys, 100 to 1, I think you guys were up 11 with like, I don't know, early in the second half and, you know, they went on a run from there. It was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What was it about tonight that made it difficult maybe for you guys to close out? Uh, really, we, I mean, when we pulled away with 11, you know, they came back, you know, the game of runs anyways, but that's when we should put our, neck, our foot on our throat, which is, we didn't do that. And, you know, coach told us at halftime when he, when he gets to the 10-minute mark in the second half, it's going to be anybody's game and the crowds will get it to us. So that's, we just, we messed up on that. And I know the game just ended, but his message to you guys after the game, what did he say? Uh, we got to come, we got to be better on the road. You know, this is our, what, fourth time we lost on the road. We just got to come back, come come ready to play. And we got to rebound, close out the blank game situation, get the rebound. We got to make free throws, but we can, we can, we can get through that. And la la Hunter, lastly, how frustrating is this one? Uh, yeah, no, it, it's pretty frustrating um, when you're up 11. Um, I just think, you know, I got I got to do more for my team out there. Uh, I feel like I let him down today. Anyone else? Got a microphone right here. Shay, pass it over. I don't know what you said. You like to let the team down. What exactly do you mean by that? Uh, just a couple of plays, you know, tipping it in for, for their team. Um, I mean, you know, when you're literally giving them two points. Uh, when we cut it to two and I ran him over, um, I really don't understand how that could be a foul, but I can't, I guess, give the defender any contact on a screen. But I guess I got to run around the screen. Um, but just making those type of plays when uh, the game is close, I, I can't do. Duan, what, what were the thoughts going into overtime? You guys had to kind of force OT and, and got a reset there. No, we had been. You know, two years ago, we came back and overtime. You know, I, I've been there, coach been there before, and I just thought we had the game. But, you know, they, they go for PT. You know, they was on a losing streak on for it. And we, we, KU, we knew they was going to bring it. So, we just got to be better. Coach keeps talking about the consistency for this team. I mean, played a great game Saturday and then two days later. I, I don't want you to use excuses, obviously, but gassed out there tonight at no, all? There ain't no excuses. We just got to take care of business. You know, we should have won that game. And all the, you know, all the credit goes to them. They came out and did what they're supposed to do. But, you know, we got to be better on the road. Man. And defense in late in the clock. Defense, too, and late game rebounding, too. So, sure. you know. Jordan. I mean, that played a big, a big role. But you know, when we go, go on the road, it's, it's always going to be like that. So we just got to play smarter and defend and guard our man. But yeah, like I said, it's always going to be like that when we go on the road. So it's something we used to. So we just got to be smarter. Well, you do always get everybody's best game on the road. But K State, you think maybe they amp it up a little bit extra for you guys? Uh, yeah, always. You know, it's the, one of the biggest rivalry in college basketball. And, you know, they like I said, they was on a, on a losing streak, so this is their chance to get back on a winning track, and you know that's what they and they did that. So we just got to, like I said, come back and be better, and get better this whole week and get ready for Baylor. So. Anything else? Nice. Minutes has been a, a, a conversation all year. How difficult is it to play heavy minutes in, in an overtime game in this environment? I mean, you guys just played big minutes the other day too. Is that factoring in? It has been all year. Uh, I mean, to me, for me, uh, I played the whole game last year. So yeah. there, there is no excuses. I, I just got to be better for my team and get the W. So. Hunter, do those minutes take a toll in a game like this that goes to overtime, short rest, all that stuff? No. Gary? One, I didn't see this, but somebody was saying that on your three-pointer, one of the coaches might have clapped in your face. Did anything like that happen? I'm no, just going by what somebody oh, said. Oh, no, I, didn't, I don't think about it. No. I, don't, I didn't see that, so I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, thanks. Trace. Uh, they had, did a great job kind of defending Johnny. What did they do differently than the other teams have done? I think he misses a couple open shots, but I think he got that one block at the end of the game. But I feel like he just missed it. I don't think they really did it. I think he just, you know, the shooter's going to struggle some games, and you know, I think that's he just had that today. So. Yeah, I feel like they were um, quicker with their closeouts with them. Um, I think that's, you know, like Coach said, 
earlier, <clears throat> they're gonna they're gonna adjust how, how they guard him now, and I think teams are realizing that he's a really good catch and shoot guy. So I think you know as a team we gotta try to adjust that because um, you know he's so talented that he's more than just a spot up shooter. So we can we gotta be able to exploit uh, you know his talents out there. When you say adjust, what, is, what exactly does that mean? Like how can you change up uh, what you guys do now? Using a shot fake. Good. It was it was a fun um, atmosphere. Um, you can tell that there's definitely some some disdain uh, between the universities, and so I feel like it was a great environment, and that made for a great game. And unfortunately, we just uh, came up short. All right. Thanks, Bob.